Hi, I'm Miss A, the Writing Lady. Today I'm going to talk to you about topic sentences. In second grade, you have three kinds of topic sentences. The first one is an opinion topic sentence. Of course, that's how you feel about something. The second kind is a number topic sentence, and that includes either a number word or an exact number. The third kind is the most fun of all. It's where you make a combo topic sentence, where you put either your opinion or the, and the number together to make a combo. Let me give you some examples. First of all, we're going to start off with Miss Allen. I adore my teacher, Miss Allen. We know that that's an opinion topic sentence because we use the word adore. Now let's look at the same topic from the perspective of using a number. Miss Allen is known for three things. How many things will we be talking about about Miss Allen? Three. There you have your number word. Last of all, your combo. Miss Allen is my favorite teacher for one reason. That has favorite teacher, which is my opinion, and one reason, which is a number. Let's go back and use a second example. Cats. Cats are interesting animals. And of course, the word interesting is our opinion. Number. My grandmother has two different kinds of cats. How many cats does grandmother have? Two. We'll be focusing on those. And for the combo, my two different cats are the best in the world. Two is the number, and best is my opinion. The final example is the grocery store. The opinion topic sentence is my family could not survive without the grocery store. We know that in today's world, it would be very hard, so that's my opinion. For number, the grocery store sells many types of cereal. Many is a number word that lets us know that there are a lot of different kinds of cereal that we could buy at the grocery store. And the last one is the combo. A grocery store is useful for several reasons. Useful is our opinion and several is the number. So you have a combo. We're going to take those ideas now, those three different types of topic sentences, and we're going to play a little game. First of all, we're going to take our mat, our work mat, and we're going to put it in front of us. And on the top of our work mat, we're going to give three different titles, the titles for our topic sentences. We have the opinion topic sentence, and we're going to put that right first, and then we're going to focus on the number topic sentence, and then we're going to put the combo third. Each one of those, we're going to read some sentences, and we're going to try to sort them out and see which number topic sentence, opinion, or combo they fall under. So let's read the first one. Three different ladies changed the history in our country. Well, that has a number word, so that would be a number topic sentence. Hummingbirds are the most interesting bird. Absolutely right, that is an opinion. Our world would be a horrid place without laws. What do you think that is? That's an opinion. My mom is amazing. That's also an opinion. Let's put that right there. Abraham Lincoln made our country a better place for all people of all colors. That's also our opinion. Wow, we were lucky four in a row. The world is made up of numerous biomes. Numerous is a number word, so we would put that under number. There are several reasons why kids need to learn to multiply numbers. Again, there's a number word, several, and we'll put that under numbers. Farmers grow several crops we can't live without. Well, several is a number word, and we can't live without is an opinion, so we're going to put that under combo. Two rules in school are essential. Essential is our opinion, and two rules is a number, so it becomes a combo. And the last one, one famous American changed our world. Well, one is a number, and changed our world, it's just plain number topic sentence, so let's put it like that. One famous American changed our world. Very good. Perfect. Thank you.